Welcome back. You got Will and I, man, here from the Block Runner Metazone, Rovi, and M Scribe. And today, for the nerds. Yes, the we're, nerds. We're going to talk about Drive Chain. The techies, dude. The ones actually here for the tech. Yeah. We're, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's supposed to be all of us, right? We're here for the tech. Yes. Yeah. See? Is that right, guy? They, they don't know, guy. They don't know. So if you're here for the tech and you're truly, like, you know, all about Bitcoin and, yeah. you know, um, I'm all about Bitcoin. I don't know about you. You're a bad w- bandwagon or <laughs> whatever, dude. Yeah. We're both bandwagoners at this point. Negative. So we've hopped on the train, right? <clears throat> and the train has been going pretty fast and it's gotten pretty long. It ex- and uh, yeah. it's congested some things within the highways yes, of Bitcoin yes. itself, right? You like my analogy so far? It's pretty good. Yeah, to the point of now we're talking about sustainability. Mm-hmm. Um, what's another word? Uh, scalability. Yeah, growth old, potential. These extra boring <laughs> topics that we're just we've been forced to talk about since the beginning of time. If you've been involved in blockchain space, yeah, this is no like new concept. No, definitely not. Right? How do we scale this thing? We knew this was coming. Yeah, Munib especially knew it was coming, and um, uh, uh Casey Rodimer yes. knew this was coming, and a lot of people pre these yeah. figureheads knew these dilemmas would come all the way back to. The, since 2014 yeah and block streams i guess original proposals like hey man you should probably start thinking about these side chain things that's right you know because uh, at some point this this main chain has its limits yeah and a drive chain is a cool name it's all right it's cool it's better than side chain yes i think ethereum had like a similar concept called like plasma chain i like that way better no that that's nah. cool dude yeah <laughs> Anyways, so what is it, dude? What are we talking about here? Why are why did all of a sudden this this thing called drive chain, which has been in the works for many years, but all of a sudden it's re-entering the public zeitgeist because of Casey Rodimer? What's he what's he want? That's right. So the reason we're talking about this is because Casey Rodimer joined a, the podcast, Hell Money Podcast, pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And um, and so I, I guess it, it entered into our peripherals because he finally spoke. Yeah. And he uh, <laughs> was talking about drive chains. Like, what is this? Yeah. Well, you hyped up something, right? Like, you put out like a little two yeah, minute phase like, two. teaser where yeah. like it was like a little girl just like sh- sifting through some papers under a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> and then he slowly like walks up, creeps up on her. He's like, yeah. hey, it's like, want to talk to drive chains with me, baby? Yeah. She's like, all in. Let's go. Yeah. And yeah. then like a few days later, they talk drive chains, right? So. I mean, anytime at this point Casey Rodimer speaks, we gotta we gotta pay attention, right? Correct, correct. Because he's the one who brought about ordinals. Uh, yeah. So this is the video. The links will be in the description. It's definitely a must listen. Um, it's yeah. about hour and seventeen minutes long. It's pretty good. It's definitely very technical. So if you're not into that into that kind of thing, just know you know there there is a, a mass effort underway. I guess from like some of the core contributor developers to the Bitcoin network. Yeah trying to figure out like what is this what how are we going to scale this thing because i guess obviously everybody knew this was going to be a need but now because of ordinals the ecosystem is expanding everybody Mm -hmm. sees the potential in that yeah and i think a lot of these maxis are starting to slowly like shift over to this side yeah we we just interviewed ken the ceo of of xverse wallet and yes uh, that was a great conversation uh, yes it was and we we got a take on like the investor's perspective on ordinals their investors put in five million into Xverse. That's a lot of a, money. A lot of confidence into yeah. the Ordinals ecosystem. So that sent out a signal to all the other investors. So everybody's looking. Everybody's keeping an eye on what's going on to Ordinals. Correct. And um, and so now um, Drive Chain is, I guess, in the in the mix of like potential solutions for scaling. So what is it? So shout out to Robin Liquidium here and uh, uh, this person. This this person has a good kind of breakdown. So Drive Chain is a type of a side chain mm. that works along Bitcoin's main blockchain. Think of it as an additional layer where you can experiment with new features without affecting the main uh, Bitcoin network. Gotcha. So essentially, it's um, this this side chain where not only does it exist alongside Bitcoin, but you have to send it Bitcoin and it gets locked up on the side chain as you would expect. Yeah, and then on this on this drive chain, you can pretty much do anything you want: smart contracts, mm. swapping. So I could build my own little anything, decks or yeah. my own little lending protocol. Yeah. It literally anything. Anything. Right. So the caveat is that in order to get your Bitcoin back out, it's going to take anywhere between three to six months. That's yeah to get it out. 
That's crazy. And the reason why that is is because they have sort of like an on-chain voting mechanism based on the miners who are contributing to this ecosystem. Okay. And and it takes 26,000 blocks in order for if if out of the 26,000 you have more upvotes than downvotes, then in that in that 6-month time span, you can get your bitcoin out if it has more upvotes than downvotes. Just like <clears throat> just one more upvote than downvotes. Correct. You're in. Yeah, yeah and if you get <laughs> and if and if the, like the first three months they're all upvotes, all blocks have upvotes, then, then you get out. your money out. You know, in three months. That makes sense. I guess. So <clears throat> wow. So it's a it's a weird <sighs> thing. Now uh, they, they yeah, <clears throat> and they say this like so confidently as if like this like, isn't this a problem. Is, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? I've been like, re- I've been, yeah, I've been digesting this, uh, this, this propaganda, right? This yeah. coming out from the Bitcoin machine. It's like, yeah, three to six months. They say it so confidently. Yeah, like, like not, it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's like just, just, just you know, overlook that feature. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about the rest of this stuff. But it's like, wow. Yeah. You know, we went from you know several hours on a you know Ethereum layer two, which was yeah. unbearable. Yeah, we we're like, fuck, dude, I want my money now. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's like I can't believe we gotta wait hours. Dude, we're never gonna get adoption. Correct. Right. Yeah. That was a, that was the narrative. Yeah. And now we're <laughs> you're talking months, dude. Yeah. It's unbelievable, right? Yeah. It's it's a weird proposal. Um, Do you see like it's, there's no way this is the only way, right? There's got to be a way around that, or um, is there no? I don't think there's a way. The reason is, is because the other caveat is in order to enable a drive chain, Bitcoin's layer has to get updated. Yes. So this is like a soft fork update, just like Taproot. Which are super hard to do, right? Very rare. Yeah, they are. It's like, usually they, there's like one per cycle, basically. Yeah. Yeah, There was a Segwit update and then there's a Taproot update. And now this is like the big one of this next incoming cycle yes yes with yes. the bip 300 and 301 correct there's two of them so it's as similar to how taproot and segwit are upgrades to bitcoin the difference is the drive chain is not implemented yet so we need to miners to vote so um if you guys listen to this podcast casey is not a hundred percent bullish on this mm. just because he doesn't see like a like um uh, like need like a uh, like a community like desire for it um, really yeah, but it's kind of shocking coming from the Ordinals guy. You know? Yeah, there's, but others disagree, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, implementing new, I guess, upgrades or code to the Bitcoin main code base always is like a contentious yeah. thing, right? And I think this would probably be one of the more contentious ones of all time, right? Because yeah. this, this is literally changing the entire architecture of, of Bitcoin into something completely new. Well, it, it's not changing the architecture. It's just adding new functionality, which is a drive chain, a side chain. Right. But if you were to actually like just if you're just like picture it, visualize what Bitcoin is, like if you were to make a painting of it or a drawing. Yeah. Like f- ever since the start of it's back just then, line. it's just been like this. just a nice little like a railroad track. Yeah. All of a sudden you're adding your like s- parallel tracks and sure. it's turning into this new beast. Sure. Sure. Right? Yeah. But. Who there's, knows? Like, and I'm pretty sure there's like tons of security concerns with that. Yeah. Hence the three to six month delay. Probably. Yeah. Right. It's like we got to be extra cautious here because if there's some sort of vulnerability because we, we yeah. you know we're we're trying to rush these withdrawals. That's true. It's gonna put the whole damn thing in compromise, right? Yeah, hundred percent. That's probably largely the reason why it takes so long to get your money out. Yeah. But uh, but then. You could imagine an entire large ecosystem happening on a side chain. Fuck all, yeah, I can. All the craziness that we saw on Ethereum and other chains. And what with the RC20s. Yeah, and all of that. Yeah. So so there's there's potential value here, right? But it needs to get adopted. And um, I have I have the links here for BIP 300 and 301. Here's the GitHubs for all that. So it kind of breaks down everything. Yeah, so this stuff is like, <clears throat> it's, it's not like an idea. Dia. this is like it's ready to go yeah or at least for like voting well thought out and yeah well explained and yeah well researched i guess and yeah so there's a lot of uh i think like some organization layer two labs i think is really the one who authored this proposal layer two labs that's correct and i think they even raised funds yeah to to do this yes. like not even just to build the concept out i think yeah like millions of dollars which is impressive in itself right yeah there's quite the effort here. Yeah, hard um, to hard to understand like the ROI for an investor for something like this, mm. especially if it doesn't get adopted. Then, all right, sunk cost, I guess. Yeah, I guess they're making a bet, right? If Layer Two Labs successfully 
you know, changes again, like the, the architecture of Bitcoin. That's and, and then pretty significant. I'm sure they'll quickly start building, you know, applications as a result. And then, yeah, it's going to be like a Dapper Labs type situation, you know, just very valuable. They yeah. build new, new, new primitives and stuff like that. So. Yeah. And ultimately that's, that's my take. If it does get adopted by the miners and they agree to up, do this upgrade, this is going to be interesting because this this is going to be the first one we were actually like really paid attention to. Like I was around when the whole Segwit thing was yeah, happening, same. but I didn't like, where's, where's it going on? I was just hearing about it. Yeah. <laughs> where is this, where's this debate being held? Is like the internal emails of like five devs? Or? Well, also the Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash. Um, yeah. I saw the fallout of all that, right? Yeah. The actual forks, the hard forks. Yeah. Yeah. I was there for all of that. It was interesting. If you held Bitcoin, you basically doubled your money because you got mm. Bitcoin cash. Yeah. Right. So that was cool. Yeah. And then like Bitcoin King came out or like yeah. Bitcoin gold and yeah. black and diamond and spheres. I don't know. It just yeah. went on and on and on. Everybody was just forking. Yeah. It was interesting. Right. And then there was almost a flippening between cash and OG Bitcoin. Uh, I guess if you want to call it that, dude, it was guess, literally right there. Uh, I, it was that close. <laughs> <laughs> it was really close. But so who knows what kind of drama is going to happen as a result of this? I mean, this has kind of like been building up since ordinals began, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if it gets adopted, I think people will build on on top of this just because it's on Bitcoin, right? Like, of course they will. Yeah, it's just like what what we saw with ordinals and Taproot. Yeah, or with yeah. Um, you know, Polygon and Ethereum, right? People built on Polygon just yeah. because, you know, you but, have to at some at some point. But this one's different. It's it's a it's a it's a like a That's side true. chain on Bitcoin. Like it's it's part of Bitcoin's yeah, code. That's, that's now. a good point. That is different. Yeah. Polygon's more like stacks, right? Yes. So exactly. speaking of stacks, yeah. you know, so, uh, Munib is chiming in as he should. Yeah, Munib, and dude. We, we really want to talk to this guy. He's such an OG. I mean, he's like <laughs> for for like Really forward thinking with stacks. Agreed. Yeah. After talking to the experts guy, I really recommend everybody to yeah tune in on Saturday. Yeah. Ken was part of the stacks team. Yeah. It was part of the original like founding organization, I think, in, yeah. back in 2018. So there's they've been thinking about this future. Like at some point, their builder culture will emerge mm -hmm. from within Bitcoin. And at some point, we're going to need to scale. Yeah. And bring more, you know, functionality to the chain itself, right? So we can, you know, compete with the likes of other L1 environments, right? Correct. So Stacks has a ginormous lead on that. Yeah. Right. Let me read this tweet. So yeah. from Anib, he says, more dev experimentation around Bitcoin is good for Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. The L1 should remain very hard to change. Stacks layer two requires no changes for from Bitcoin layer one, like upcoming Nakamoto. Mm. Drive chains require a soft fork and maybe two to three years out if support. Yeah, if there's if it if it gets passed, right? Yeah, we'll probably see an actual rollout in about three years. Yeah, and who knows? Like in blockchain speak, that could mean like five or six. Could <laughs> like be. the way things move in this space, you know? yeah. And then validity rollups require new opcodes. Hardest change maybe five years. So this is like another concept. I guess we need to look into rollups. Yeah, it's probably like and zk rollups and stuff like that probably but in in the case of drive chain all the transactions that occur on the drive chain ultimately end up being on bitcoin because mm -hmm. they hash everything mm -hmm. and then they submit it potentially probably as an ordinal mm -hmm. um on on uh on bitcoin so interesting so yeah i mean yeah so it's it's a bunch of transactions kind of like a roll-up Directly onto Bitcoin. Yeah, it's just it's reminding me a lot of the days when we were looking into how the L2 expansion of Ethereum, you know, it was just, we went to the uh, the Ethereum Denver conference <clears throat> maybe like eight or nine months ago or something yeah. like that. And it was just nonstop. Everyone was just competing against who's going to be the, the big daddy L2 in yeah. the room, right? There's like hundreds of them now. That's right. Everybody wants to be a layer two to Ethereum. So I'm sure at some point once this, I think, First thing first, we have to break Bitcoin again. Yeah. <laughs> right? Just like uh, Ordinals has to grow, bitmap everything, and maybe some mainstream user activity. Yeah. Right? And then I think the, the this issue is going to become way more obvious, right? Yeah. By the way, uh, Paul Stork, he's the CEO of Layer 2 Labs. Oh, he's speaking right now, yeah? And yeah, he's talking about Bit300. Uh, well, okay. Well, we're going to tune into that as soon as we're done. Yeah, here and uh, maybe we'll make another follow-up video next week or something. Once there's more, uh, this discussion becomes more 
I guess, lively, right? Yeah, and hopefully, you know, one day we get to t- talk to uh, Muni because he's got a lot of insight on all of Bitcoin stuff, and um, yeah. hopefully we can get him on and have a chat. Yeah, so main takeaways here, I mean, I think this is confirmation, man. Bitcoin is <clears throat> changed forever. I think it's, yeah. on, it's on like a pathway that of no return. Yeah, agree. Right? Bitcoin, if you're like one of those like purity maximalists, whatever, like we're just digital gold. Yeah. I think that ship is sailed, unfortunately, for yeah, you. 100%. You know? So Yeah, if you listen to the podcast, even Casey Rodimer, he says, miners love ordinals. Mm. That's because of all the transactions and all yeah. the fees that they're getting, so... Fuck yeah. Yeah, so there's, what, there's what no does going that, back. What does that mean when miners love Bitcoin? That means you're attracting new miners, more miners. That's right. That's, that's more strengthening security. the security of the network, right? That's it's right. making Bitcoin that much more valuable. Mm-hmm. This is good. This is good for Bitcoin. If you're just holding yeah. massive bags of Bitcoin, dude, just go chill. Just go yeah. do anything, dude. You're Stronger fine. Stronger gold, dude. Harder <laughs> gold. It's advanced gold. Yeah. <laughs> Gold of the digital age shouldn't be like as dumb and useless as physical gold, right? Agreed. It should do some stuff. Yeah. That's way cooler gold, in my opinion. Yeah, man. All right. So that's the video. If you have any questions on drive chain, um, you know, if you think we should be talking about something else, let us know in the comment section <laughs> below. Follow mm-hmm. us on all our Twitter channels. There's a lot of them. And we will catch you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>